I'm going to teach you something that's really important about purchasing your first wig or any wig. I want to talk about lace for a short period of time. I think this is an important topic because I have had clients come to me about how they don't understand why the super expensive wig that they just bought, not from Stacked, why doesn't the hairline lay flat? Or why doesn't it look the same as the pictures that I'm posting on social media? Or their, you know, their sisters on social media that are also wearing hair and their hairlines look bomb. How come their new wig that they just bought doesn't look the same? I'm in this business to share the love of hair wear and kind of, you know, show people that it actually, the wigs that they make nowadays are pretty legit. As long as you find the right one. So these women obviously didn't find the right one. Disclaimer, this, this is like all just my opinion and what I've what I found out through the years of buying so many wigs and so much hair and spending so much money. I spent lots of money figuring out why a human hair wig, a good human hair wig makes a good human hair wig. And one of the main things is hairline. And hairline has a lot to do with the lace that's made um, with the lace front wig. So I, I mostly do lace fronts just because I feel like they're the most versatile, they're more affordable, they're easier to fit, and you know, all the things. I wanted to share some things you, you need to look for. Requirement number one, the lace has to be something called Swiss Transparent Lace or HD Lace or Film Lace. There's so many different kinds of lace, but those are the terms you want to look for. Why? Because the lace at the hairline is what makes it look real. And then the things that I do to it or that a, another wig artist does to the hairline is what can take it to the next level too, to make it look like it's coming out of your scalp. The reason you want Swiss transparent HD theater lace, whatever it may be, it's all the, it's all in the same category, those terms. The, re, the thing that makes them so good is that they are so thin, so delicate, that they melt the lace that the hair is tied into, literally melts into your skin. So you can't see it. Another thing about it is it's very expensive. It's very rare. It's, um, it's, a, it's a delicacy right now. You'll have many scammers in the market that will claim that they're selling Swiss or HG lace. Beware. Make sure you're getting a wig from a legitimate seller. You, The way you can tell is if their price is too good to be true, then it's probably too good to be true. Now, if you don't care much about the hairline and you're going to be like sleeping in this thing, working out in this thing, playing sports in this thing, all the things, maybe you don't want Swiss lace. Maybe you're gonna put your bio hair or your hairline in front, then you don't really care. Maybe you have bangs, you don't care. So you're gonna to wanna to look for something that says Swiss Transparent Lace. Um, it has a, a low denier, which, which is a fancy schmancy word, which I'm probably not even pronouncing correctly. That just means that it's the um, density or how thin your lace is. So de the lower the denier, the more expensive, the thinner and the um, more delicate and the better it's gonna melt into your skin. You know, and you don't have to buy a wig from me. There, you can get these wigs um, from several other amazing, amazing companies. Um, and I will be the first to tell you who to buy from depending on what you're looking for. Because if I don't have it, then I just don't have it. I'm not gonna be mad at you for not buying it from me, but I will tell you what to look for. Try to look for a glueless wig too. Glueless wigs means that you don't have to um, use adhesive to um, lay them flat on your head. 
so your, your wig's not gonna sit up super duper high and look like a wig. Look for single knots is another thing. When they knot the hair into the cap, if it is knotted in a single knot, mean, meaning they're only using one knot, and I think it only mean I think it also means that you're only using one hair, one or two hairs maybe. So the knots are super super thin, and they're all going in one direction. They're cuticle aligned. Okay, so these are all terms that you're going to want to look for when you're purchasing a wig. You can always skip all that studying mumbo jumbo and holding your breath hoping that what you receive is what you thought you paid for if you find something on my website that's your size return hairs for those of you that don't know and you can also look on our um vp added some really good q a's on the website you can take a look i've, I've got a section in there or we put a section in there about return hairs a return hair is basically like when they're tying the hair into this lace here Think about, think about it like tying a knot. There's gonna be two ends, right? When you tie a knot, there's two ends. So one end is gonna be longer than the other end. So when they're making these wigs, it makes sense that all of the hairs are not gonna be the same length. So when, when the person constructing the wig, whoever it may be, um, is putting it together, they try to do it so that when they tie it, it, it's close to this, the right length that that's going to shape the, the overall wig correctly in terms of the length of the hair and the way that the layers fall. So they might tie some hairs shorter than others, but sometimes they will have flyaways um, and return hairs and they should have them because that's the only way to make the wig. But if they're like sitting straight up or something like that and they're driving you nuts, um, it's probably just because of the way the wig was either drying. Did it dry upside down? Did you style it upside down? Did you, you know, blow dry it in a weird way? Or did you just change the part? Um, was it just that coming out of the box? Like you're going to need to use either hair, like a hairspray, a gel, a pomade, um, heat, something to lay those down. Now, personally, I like return hairs showing um and i can give you an example but do you see these little baby like it's what it's what makes the, the the piece look more real on a normal human head you're gonna have baby hairs because all the hairs are not growing at the same rate i like to see those little baby hairs if they drive you nuts like if it's just one or two just use the tweezers and pluck it out or um use hair or hairspray use water Use a blow dryer, use a hot comb, use a straightener. I've had pieces that have crazy return hairs and I've had pieces that have like hardly any return hairs. They're all handmade y'all. Like they're not machine made, which is another reason why they're so great. So I love you guys. Happy Wiggy Wednesday. Sorry, this was so quick, but I hope this is helpful because it legit is like the number one thing you need to focus on when you're looking for a wig that has a good hairline. So, okay. Adios amigas.